so heavenly minded that they're no earthly good. I don't know if y'all know any people like that. Yes. But uh, yes. I could, because we can go on and on with that because also technically, technically, we do not see in scripture eat macaroni and cheese, fried chicken and garlic greens and cornbread. Right, 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 right. Amen. So, Amen. So, 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 but, so how technical do you want to get? Sometimes we are so busy looking for the facts that we still miss the truth. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is power yeah. in pleading the blood of Jesus. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, there's just power oh, in pleading the blood of Jesus. And so, and so consider the sacrificed animal or the sacrificed animal whose blood was to be posted over the doorpost in order to save a whole house. Oh, uh, you know, that's back in Old Testament of Exodus. You'll find, well, that was just the order. If, if, if blood was posted over the doorpost and you would be saving all of the inhabitants of that house. And so then you have to consider if the blood of a sacrificed animal had that much power where it would cause salvation to those that are inside of the doors of that particular how much then would the blood of Jesus our Christ our Savior be than that of some sacrifice all right, all right. animal. Right. Yeah, he is a lamb of God. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. But here this one has sacrificed his own life uh -huh. that we might have not just the right to life, but life more okay. abundantly. And then have a way and escape out uh -huh. to be covered and to be protected. Yeah. And so it caused me, I had to look at a couple of things. Now going back to Old Testament, and I'm seeing where uh, we consider the animal's blood. Okay, so you got the animal's blood. But but the animal's blood, because in Old Testament, uh, even after Adam's original sin in Old Testament, God would accept the death of an animal as a substitute for the sinner. Poor animal, you have to say, because if you're an animal lover, amen, the lamb ain't done nothing. The, the, the cow ain't done nothing. The, 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 the chicken, they ain't done nothing. The root, they hadn't done nothing. But after all this sin that man would have, for him to have to find an animal to bring and to slaughter, to slay, so that the blood would save him from what he had done. And then that's an animal. That, that could, that, 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 that's a very, that's an interesting thing. And so, and so I'm looking at that and then imagining that while God is looking down and scattering and looking and checking out what's going on, I believe that if you allow me to use my, my spiritual imagination, that, that he decided to make some adjustments and make some changes because he realized that those folk are doing all kinds of stuff and doing all kinds of now. Now, in a minute, if I keep letting it go on this way, it ain't going to be no animal. So by the time we get into year 2000, all of the sin that will have happened since the beginning, all of the sin, all of the wrongdoing, all of the hurt, harm, and danger that people have caused. Amen. We could, you talk about a shortage. Mm. So there had to be another way. There had to be another way. And then I would imagine, amen, considering who then could it be? Right. If you're talking about humans, now the human blood, now don't sleep on the human Wait, blood. We are an awesome yes, machine. Sir. The human blood performs many functions, uh -huh. amen, within the body, including making sure that we get a great supply of oxygen. The human uh, our blood does that and makes sure that oxygen is supplied to the tissues, amen, that uh -huh. makes sure that our body gets the nutrients and such that it needs, yes. amen, yes. and even deals with removing the bacteria from yes. us and helping yes. us yes. to get rid of the yes. things that we do not need. Yes. The human blood deals with coagulation and uh -huh. that it can separate that which is good from that which is not so good. Yes. Amen. Right. It, 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 it's a messenger. It's a it, it, it's a messenger of such as you will because it flows even coming from this heart going through the kidney. It does all kinds of things and transporting hormones and transporting even the signal of ailments, if you will. It, it even deals with the regulation of our body temperature. I mean, it's, it's quite an amazing thing, and that's the good news about your blood. However, the human blood. And the blood of animals, both are susceptible to carrying disease, yeah. right. amen, to carrying sicknesses, yeah. and just carrying impurities, yeah. Yeah. amen. There are things, amen, that the human blood and the animal's blood can 
can can can can be changed. What are you saying? In other words, there, there's some things that humans can do that will affect the blood. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you drink too much, it's going to yeah. mess with the blood. Yeah. I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all don't drink too much. I'm, I'm just talking about who I'm talking about. There's, there's things that you can do right, right, right. that will affect the blood that will not allow the blood to do what it is initially intended to do. It, right. it, 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 they got to take a blood test. Yeah. Uh-huh. To find out what's going on with your body. Amen. Amen. But there is a blood. There is a blood. The blood of Jesus the Christ. I can almost quote right there. (laughs) The blood of Jesus the Christ. This 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 blood, amen, that is pure, this blood that is powerful, this blood that is without impurities, this blood that is perfect is the blood that was shed. And so God would later send his only begotten son and bring with him a new covenant, a new covenant that through Jesus the Christ, amen, Jesus would die in place of all sinners, amen, that that his sacrifice would be fulfilled completely when the Old Testament covenant meant his blood would remove the sins of the world for all who put their faith in him. This sacrifice Amen. Would never have to be repeated. What do you say? What do you say? Because of what Jesus has done, we don't have to keep bringing in animals. I mean, could you imagine? uh, Could you imagine? Amen. Needing to bring in animals for every service, needing to make sure. I know when it's communion Sunday, we got to make sure we got enough Jews and enough crackers. But what about if we had to make sure we had enough Jews, enough crackers, and enough animals? How many folks are we expecting today? I don't know. What, what, what brother, sister, do we have enough goats? Do we have enough lamb? Do, do we have enough chickens? Do we have any roosters? We, oh, we got a packed house today. Oh, my God. You would have to have a farm continuously being replenished if it were about the need of the blood of an animal. And so God, in his infinite wisdom, sets up this thing. This helps you give God praise, right? right, right because right. He, I'm telling you, he thought of everything. Yes. See, if you was God, you would have out some stuff. Yeah. First of all, you'd have a problem with, you know, whenever it rains. Not right. understanding. You know, it's raining right. today. It's not. Well, let me tell you right. something. That's a good day, too. Yeah. How we decide it's not a good day because it's raining right. today? We told God, we be the had the sunshine, we be the created a desert. Right. Amen. Amen. Don't you know that rain is important? Songwriter said, uh, uh, how can we appreciate? You got to be grateful. That's right. right. Appreciate the rain. It helps you to appreciate the sunshine. That's right. Uh, y'all probably don't know this one here uh, because joy and pain is like sunshine <laughs> and rain. Come on, that's Minister Frankie Beverly here in the house. And so, and so that all of these things become necessary in order for us to get to where we're trying to get to to deal with what we got to deal with. Great place to just give God some praise. And, just give God. and so this blood of Jesus ultimately becomes the very foundation of redemption. It is. It is. Jesus Christ died on the cross shedding this blood. Amen. And then was resurrected. I know y'all just preached this a couple of weeks ago. But but, but, but that Easter message, amen, is a message, amen, that really is about our life, our lifestyle, who we are, how we are, where we are, how we ever going to get to glory, amen. All that stuff is still wrapped up and tied up. Anybody know about being tangled up? And so we thank him for what he has done. And so, and so when we get to a place, and even, even Apostle Peter, he writes about this. For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. Right. And the ransom he paid was not more gold, that was not mere gold or silver. He paid for you with the precious lifeblood of Christ, the sinless, spotless lamb of God. The blood of Jesus Christ is absolutely the most precious gift, amen, yeah, yeah. that God has given us. Great place to give God some praise here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 but every man, every human born has sinned. I mean, you know, some folk, I don't know what it is with uh, church folks sometimes, amen. You know, but every, Bible says all have sinned and come short. Not just sin, but it says and. Come so basically, so you sinned and came short. Yeah. Amen. To the glory of the things of God. The things that God would have for you, we came short. We sinned against. Amen. Amen. 
and, 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 and some folk are still in denial. I mean, in the church in denial. Uh, 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 and let me help you here because there is a difference between church folk and God's folk. Yes, it is. Amen. A white, a white man. Everybody in church ain't with God. Yes. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Amen. But all of God's people ought to want to come to church. Amen. For the scripture declares, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. I love that part because if one can chase away a thousand, when we get together, amen, a two and four and five and we bring ourselves even on the day of Pentecost as we approach Pentecost Sunday. And they were with one accord. Amen. And they were, folk forgot about stupid stuff and why I'm mad at you and why I can't even remember all this stupid stuff that I'm supposed to be mad. But if we just bring ourselves in and think about Jesus being the center of our joy, being the center of our life, the center of our being, if we would concentrate even now on the very blood of Jesus that can heal everything damaged. Yeah. I don't know about you, but you, maybe, maybe you don't feel that because everything, you ain't got nothing damaged. But if there's somebody up in here that got some damaged stuff up in here, then you want to come on in a little closer and understand that this blood that we're talking about this afternoon has the power, amen, amen, to fix, to heal, to deliver, to set free everything. Not just something, but everything. Damaged. Come on and give God some praise. Because even when it comes to our salvation, uh, by accepting yeah. Jesus as our Savior and accepting that He shed His blood, Amen, yeah. to atone for the sins of all who repent. It's a wonderful thing. Right. Even the act of communion. I love the act of communion because. When we are having communion and we have the blood of Jesus, you know, right, 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 right. Jesus held the cup. What yeah. I like about it was he gave thanks and then he, he, yeah. uh, he, he, he gave thanks. He, you know, but do you realize that before he broke it, he gave thanks for what he blessed it before he broke it? Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so when I partake of the sacrament, this, this, this whole, and, and, and I know it's just, Juice or you know wine. Some places have wine. That's all right. Amen. That's a whole other story. There, I won't mess y'all theology up. Amen. But you know, depending upon where you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right now. Yes, and I just have somebody depending upon because a lot of times a lot of our stuff has been culturally tainted. Yeah, yes. yes. You know that we, we 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 screwed up because of culture. That's right. That's right. But there's some places, amen, you go to Italy and you'll find out in some areas in Italy where, where wine is cheaper than water. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The children drink wine. Yes, they do. It's culture. When you come over here and try that, you get arrested. But I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's, but when we think of what it represents, yeah. amen, that every time, the next time you're even having communion, just your digestion and intake of the blood of Jesus, if you connect that thing to your faith, a shadow will break out just by that one little sip. That, that one sip that's healing, that's delivering, that's setting free, that's fixing, that's regulating mind, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. If, if, if you just think about what that thing means. And so here, even when your blood is in trouble, when your blood is in trouble, when your blood is not functioning properly, still, there is a blood <laughs> that, that can be applied to your blood. And some kind of way in that mathematical equation, that, that negative blood with that positive blood, amen, go bring that thing out to a positive. Now, in man's math, that ought to be negative. But when you talk about what God has done, when you add his blood to anything negative, it's going to come out
touch yeah. with your hands. Yeah. Yeah. There's things in your life yeah, you, you can't touch, oh, but there's damage. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Even, even in your mind, you cannot touch okay. your mind, right. but there's damage. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, we are helped even there in Scripture because we're trying to just put every, because you said everything damage. That's what that's what Everything. jacked me up right there. Yes, Through the blood of Christ, Christians can even receive cleansing of their consciousness. Uh -huh. yes. This this all of this is what caused me to really get deeper and a little study a bit more on this thing, Apostle, than I than I normally would have. But the but the deeper I went, the deeper it pulled me down. Yes, sir. I mean, you know, I went from eight feet of water to twelve feet of water. Next thing I knew, I was in the ocean, couldn't even yeah. feel the bottom. Yeah. Right, right, right. Amen. Because I say, you know what? If I don't just stop dealing yeah. with this blood thing here, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna miss the whole service oh, all God. week, Amen. This yes, this been a whole week long yes, thing Lord. of stuff that yes, seems like ever since that thing that flyer oh, brought to my attention, wow. I've just been thinking about the blood of yes. Jesus. Sometimes I couldn't say nothing. I, I didn't always speak it out, but in my mind, in my spirit, was the blood of. I done pointed at some people and thought about some things and just kind of. The blood of you. Because the old man walls and, 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 and the old ones and the uh, old doc and old bishop, man, they used to talk about the blood of Jesus and it seemed like that wrong stuff got fixed a little quicker. It just seemed like that, 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 that high stuff got brought down. That's the word. Come on. It seemed like some low stuff got brought up. It like some stuff that was in got put out and some stuff that was out got brought in and some things that were damaged got fixed. Because they call on the blood of Jesus. Good for everybody here calling on the blood of Jesus. This, 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 Hebrews declares this. How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? It's an amazing promise. This, this, this Christ cleansing even our conscience. Are you kidding me? From acts that would possibly lead right. to death. All right, all right. Because it starts in your mind. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. Be God, you got a choice. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's mathematical equations. The Lord also uses a lot of agricultural experiences to help us to get to where he's trying to get us to. Amen? Right, right, right. And, 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 and when we think about that, because a lot of times, even when we think about sickness, you know, the, the blood of Jesus and his son cleansing us from all sin, but also from sickness, because sickness just does not come from God. It, it just doesn't. I mean, that's one of the reasons there will be no sickness in heaven. Right. Y'all have been on church where they're singing about sickness in heaven, right? Uh -huh. Amen. All right. You got to run about it there. Amen. Right. Because exactly. there ain't no sickness in heaven. Amen. But God, amen, has a way of, 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 of helping us to understand some things. And some people have just complicated the word of God to where it has become out of the reach of the people of God uh -huh. trying to get to the things yeah, of God. And that's the reason why it ain't but 66 books and we can't get those 66 right. Yet the scripture also tells us that even though this is only 66, this is not even the half of what really went down. And so if we would just get a bit of the part that he gave us to get, I believe that everything would be all right. Come on, give God some praise. Because, because, because this, this, this blood can deliver you of anything yes. from the devil. Yes, That's the reason why we started out with that text there because of Revelation when he says, and they have conquered him. Okay. Him being Satan. That's what he's talking about. They have conquered Satan. How? Mm -hmm. By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Don't you know your testimony is powerful? Yeah. Yeah. Your testimony is some, somebody escaped because of their testimony. And some people are fooling themselves. I'm like, the devil thought he had me, but I, no, the devil did have you. It wasn't the about it. Amen. I, listen, yes, the devil had me, amen, but I did get away. And, 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 and if you keep blaming the devil for everything, he, he is dumb enough to take the credit for the stuff that he ain't even do. Some of that stuff was just our dumb stuff. Do you know we did some dumb stuff? Amen. Yeah, what?
done that long ago, you did some dumb stuff, amen. But because somebody had already pleaded the blood of Jesus, <laughs> grandmama and them had already pleaded the blood of Jesus, oh, you made it through your dumb stuff. Oh, yes, we did do some dumb stuff. Oh, yes, you know, let me tell you, some of my, listen, I'm not going to tell you all, oh, y'all ain't ready, amen. But, but how about we, we have gone to people's houses that we did not even know who went downstairs in a dark basement, dance with blue lights in the basement, dance with folk to the street, we didn't even know, we were rubbing all up on them, amen, having, and then what God. We are walking in neighborhoods, amen, with crazy stuff going on, we don't know folk, we didn't, back in the day, some folk used to hitchhike and get in people's cars, we, we don't even know. I, I, I did this, uh, Apostle. I did this. I had my son. I'll never forget. I had my son on a road trip with me. We we had flown, and when we got to the airport, uh, we got to the airport, and, you know, the folk, they holding your sign. So I'm like, yeah, Bell, that's me, you know. So got my bags. My son and I, we went. We got in the guy's car, and, and uh, the guy was taking us where we're supposed to go. So I'm tired, you know, because we did last night. We're going to do it tonight, and we got a six. We already, nothing like getting someplace you got service tonight, knowing you got a six o'clock flight tomorrow morning right, to get someplace. Right. So you arrive tired, and you know you get ready to be tired. But you still got work to do. Yeah. And so I get in the car, and as my custom is, once I get there, the guy knows where we go, and amen, I generally I'll go to sleep. Uh -huh. yeah. This particular time, I got my son with me. My son is saying, Dad, you sleep, you sleep. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm tired. I got, we got the server. Up. I said, Dad, do you know this guy? And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't know. You know, the church said him. You know, the people, I don't, I don't know. You know, Dad, how you sleeping? You don't know this guy. You know where he's taking us? He's taking us to the hotel. Do you know what the hotel? No, I, I, it's in my briefcase. Look at this. I don't even know what it is. I don't know where the hotel is. I don't know the church is. Okay. But I'm trusting this guy. I know where all this stuff is. But what I do, but what happened was that caused me once again to remember the precious blood of Jesus. But how many times have we gone through this thing without really thinking? But you gotta know that when you're not thinking about the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is thinking about you. Already on the right, already keeping you. You already been there. You already are blessed. You already are making it to the right place to give God some praise. Amen. Let me get ready to sit down unless I hold you too long. Some of y'all hungry or something. You're ready to go. But this blood that can, that can deliver you from anything of the devil. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Any spirit that's any oppression. Amen. The blood, the power in the blood. Amen. Power over every demonic spirit, over every demonic force. The power of God in and through the blood of Jesus takes over completely and the powers of the devil under subjection, defeating those powers. That ought to be great news for somebody in here. Because what does that say? Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus over trouble in mind. I plead the blood of Jesus over home trouble. I plead the blood of Jesus over job trouble. I plead the blood of Jesus over church trouble. I plead the blood of Jesus over financial trouble. I plead the blood of Jesus over relationship trouble. I plead the blood of Jesus over sickness and disease. I plead the blood of Jesus over whatever might be troubling your mind. I plead the blood of Jesus over over some of our little, little wonderful children. I plead the blood of Jesus and some of these special saints. I plead the blood of Jesus against everything. That is not of God. I plead the blood of Jesus because it must not suffer long. So however long this has been going on, we plead the blood of Jesus. And let me help you because there might be you that that blood will fix first. Amen. And how you look at your trouble, and you will realize that oh God is really making me stronger. He's making me stronger. He's fixing my heart. He's fixing my mind. He's changing my vision. He's changing how I speak. He's fixing everything that has been damaged. So whatever it is that's been damaged, the blood of Jesus can fix it. The blood of Jesus is without finish. The blood of Jesus. It ain't got. The blood of Jesus is pure. The blood of Jesus ain't nothing wrong with my Savior. 
get the blood of oh, Jesus. That's the reason why he can fix everything damaged. Because you see, if you damage and I'm damaged, all that is is more damage. But when I put my damage in the face of God, when I put my damage under the blood of Jesus, amen, there's a fixing that happens. I wonder if you believe that. I wonder if your faith will allow you to be connected to the power, to the strength, to the truth of the power of the blood of Jesus. Fix and everything. Then I want to thank you, Apostle. I want to thank you, Temple of Praise and Worship, for bringing back to our remembrance the power of the blood of Jesus. Because on this red all this red in here, representing in my mind, amen, the blood of Jesus. And so whether you got on red or not, you you around this blood. And you wanna you wanna make sure that you symbolically gesture, if you will, amen, that your life, amen, is up with the blood of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might still see some crazy folk on your job tomorrow, but remember this day. Remember that the blood of Jesus is covering you. Wherever you go, you got the blood of Jesus. I pleaded the blood. I want to thank you because, because we have not pleaded the blood like we used to. And that folk are looking for a way. Folk think that it's all tied up into their finances. All tied up into not what you know, but who you know. Tied up, but if you began to plead the blood of Jesus, I ain't saying you don't need no money, but you better pray. Plead the blood of Jesus. I ain't saying you ain't got to know nobody, but you better plead the blood of Jesus. I ain't telling you not to go to your doctor's appointment, but you better plead the blood of Jesus. To show up for your court date, but you better plead the blood of Jesus. I ain't telling you not to take your medicine, but you better plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. Because sometimes you blame yourself on the devil, and all you got to do is take your medicine. Amen. Plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. I'm excited. I don't know. Maybe you ain't got no damage, but I got some damage stuff, and I'm pleading the blood of Jesus over all.
tonight. Amen. That you got a whole other practice for us in there. That you need so much. Come on. Yeah, we prayed, we fasted, but did we plead the blood of Jesus? Did we plead the blood of Jesus? Like my God. I found out I was kind of guilty of that. Right, right, right. We prayed, we fasted, yes. we praised, uh -huh. we believed God. Yes, we turned around three times. Believe all that stuff. Yes. Did we, <laughs> did we just plead the blood of Jesus? Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been guilty, I know. Amen. God help us. Yeah. 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 So let's let that be. Let that be your new thought. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah. Now we put oil and we laid oil and yeah. come up, we had oil and yeah. grease everybody up. Alright. Come on, greasy in the house. But then we just plead the blood of Jesus. Did we, did we add that to the equation? Uh -huh. We believe God. We filled out the application and uh -huh. Uh -huh. we believe God. Uh -huh. But then we just Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Yes. Hey, God. I don't think that's when you're in trouble, though. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. God, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blood that yet works. That has not lost its power. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for touching us again and refreshing us and bringing to our remembrance even the power of your blood. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your word again and all Thank that it you, declares. Thank you, all that you've done. Yes, all Lord. that you're yet willing, ready, and able oh, to God. do for us. Yes, sir. If we would but ask. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. If we would continue you, to delight ourselves. Yes, Lord. Amen. In you. Yes, God. Grant us the desires oh, of our heart. Thank you for Lord. taking care of Thank you for how you've already been. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I'm not dead, they never did see. Because of the blood of Jesus. Bless your name, oh God. And we bless you, we praise you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, Amen. You've come to just be a part of this afternoon uh, service. Hallelujah. Amen. But you don't have relationship with the Lord. Amen. Come on, let's fix that thing this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The angels in heaven will rejoice and celebrate yeah. just that very one. Yeah. If you were here, not sure about your salvation, not sure. I don't even know if I really have a relationship. You know, it's, it's yeah. one thing to, to know him, but to accept him. Yeah. The yeah. devil knows him. But the That's devil right. has not accepted him as Savior. And because he said it is finished, it's too late for the devil. Yes, yes. But because the way God has set the thing up, amen, it's never too late for you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 So if you're here, we invite you to come. Amen. Haven't been baptized, whatever. Amen. We invite you to come. I'm not going to ask about special prayer. I'm not getting ready to insult no. I'm not getting ready to insult God. Amen. And uh, because uh, all of us need that special prayer. Oh, yeah. And uh, we all have some area, amen, some, some, some thing that we are dealing with that has damaged to it. And uh, not going the way you thought it would go, damaged. Not working out the way you thought it would work out, damaged. Amen. Amen. Didn't do what it was supposed to do, damaged. Right, amen. Right. And some of us, some of that is us. Yeah. Damaged. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Did just just, yeah. just didn't do it exactly right. Yeah. Damaged. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Try to do it. It just didn't work out. Uh -huh. Damaged. Uh -huh. Amen. But you can take that damage back to the creator of the yes. creation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. We'll cover it with the blood and uh -huh. everything. This is with me for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Everything damaged. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. The blood can heal. Yes. yes. So let's just lift our hands up to him. Thank you. As a child does to a father. Oh, or even to a mother. Oh, when the child wants to be picked up, yeah. the child don't have to say nothing. Yes, but can simply approach and with uplifted yes, hands. Yes, and then that mother, that father knows yes, what that means. Yes, and will pick him up oh, and caress and hold and rock. Yes. Amen. And so we come to you, Lord, you, Lord. as humble as we know how. Needing a pickup from you. Needing you to cover us with the precious blood of Jesus the Christ. 
that can heal yes, sir, everything yes, sir, yes, damaged. Yes, sir, yes, sir. God, you know about damaged area. You know about yes, the things that are really heavy on our mind, on our conscience. Our consciousness needs healing. Oh, God. Situations need healing. Yes, that child, that spirit relationship, oh, God. Help our mind with those finances. Yes, Lord. Help us to deal with bills that won't go away. Yes, God. But we thank you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for an opportunity to not just fix it, but to be fixed. Yes. Oh, we thank you because we're still breathing. Thank you. We still got a chance. There's still time as long as there's breath yes, in our body. Yes, Lord. Thank you for this realization. Oh, we continuously give you praise yes, because everything that has breath oh, will praise you. Oh, Lord. These your people praise you. These your people glorify you. These your people delight themselves in you. These your people. We got some stuff we need you, Lord. And we thank you for the blood. And we thank you for our testimony. Which says we are victorious. The only victorious people. Come on, let's do God some praise.